Okay. Are you a high achiever? Mm, I know. <laughs> okay, so I consider myself a high achiever. What is a high achiever? It's somebody who gets it done no matter what. You know who I'm talking about. You know if that's you. No matter what somebody puts in front of you, you're going to make it happen. You're going to make it do what it do. I understand because I'm like that. But what I realized that as being a high achiever is that sometimes when we making it do what it do, it comes at a price. And sometimes that price gets way too high and we end up crashing. So <laughs> this message is for all my high achievers. Before you crash, I have a couple things that you can do that will help you. So number one is remember your values. Yes, I love talking to my clients about values because we have to be reminded of what's important in our life. So when I'm talking to my clients, a lot of times I say, what's your value? Most of us, you know, we're gonna say family, right? And that's probably true, but it might not look like it. So if you say that family is a value for you, yet you spend most of your time at work or doing work items, what do you really value? Okay, now you can value both, but don't say family is your top priority and you're not giving family your time. And I am guilty of it, which is the reason why we're having this whole conversation. So if family is your value, remember that value and put it first. And then everything then collectively comes around it to make everything work in your life. And so remember your values. Remember what you set out to do. Why are you doing what you're doing anyway? It's probably because of family, right? So remember to put family first if that's your value and then let everything else gather in. Number two, you have to set boundaries. Okay, like, whoo, listen, I'm the first to work, 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 work. I work all the time, right? But I have a boundary. If I am staying up late more than three nights in a row at the, thir the third night, it's a wrap. I am, I'm, I'm stopping, right? I then, you know, might watch a movie on the third night. I might get a glass of wine. But after the third night, you cannot keep going, right? I can't keep going like that because I know for a fact that I'm going to crash and you might too. So figure out what a boundary is for you, right? You might, you might have a three night limit, right? Like me, you might have a three or four night limit, whatever it is, set some boundaries. You might have a hard stop at 5 p.m. every single day, no matter what, whatever it is, set some boundaries. And lastly, you have to practice wellness. I get up every morning and I work out because that's for me, right? As a high achiever, number one, let me give you a secret. As a high achiever, when you work out, especially if you work out first thing in the morning, you already feel accomplished <laughs> because accomplishment is something that we need. High achievers need to accomplish something. That's why I have lists, right? I love marking stuff off my list, but when I get up in the morning and I work out, I can mark that off my list and I feel good. So you have to practice some kind of wellness in your life because that thing is for you. It is absolutely for you. So I hope these things helped you if you're a high achiever. I know you, girl. Listen, you got to take care of yourself. You got to set some boundaries. You got to remember your values. And guess what? Go out there and be that high achiever.